Hello guys, uh, in this video I'm gonna show you how to generate random numbers without duplicated in Java. Here's all you need, uh, we, uh, we need an uh, uh, array and to we have also four here and another four inside this four which is nested four and uh, another four we to store, I mean to show the results uh, I'm going to remove them and rewrite them to be more clear for you. Also this. And this one, let's remove the, all of them. Okay. First of all, you need to import Java util.random. This function, which is uh, you have to import it and then put the class also okay let's define the random random in the name random random also equal to new random Hi. okay then here we go uh, then what we need here a four this one and to write i equal to uh, random dot next integer let's say not greater than 10 it's from 0 to 10 I mean the average the numbers which is uh, randomly ticked from 1 0 to 9 Here. okay uh, let's say let's just have a look this out if we see right I here Nine seven six eight two one five four. Here's we have duplicate one two one. Here's two 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 one and one. This one it's duplicated to solve this problem to show five numbers without duplicate to store five numbers without duplicate. First of all, let's see this one. This is the array. Um, let's say we duplicate. With duplicate. Okay. Here. Inside this four, we need another four. Mm, we need another four. Okay, and inside this for we need if statement if control space to show it and if okay let's say if ri i it's equal to ri j I'll show you. Here, it's take from this here uh, for this in here. Uh, I is equal zero. Okay, we know, and uh, it's less than the length of the array. A dot length. So, it is take a random number. Let's say the index zero. Index zero. It's one, and came here for integer j is equal zero. And let's say that it must be less than i. Her j is equal zero. And is that j less than i? No, because j is zero and i is also zero. And 
to to know how the this uh, for work mm, just let me show you here the first uh, for it's from integer i is equal to zero and here the condition if i is equal to zero then do this after that when gonna have this i is plus plus so after do that it i take one here we go ah i'm here and now let's say all right i equal to all right j if the index of i and index of j equal to each other then do this which i minus minus and break this loop the break will break out from this if condition it gives to there for break out from this yeah and here we need another for to show the result let's see it's solid Mm, without without duplicated okay i i let's do it with these numbers let me show you in any day because I how it work here the ri i and ri j first of all here the for from here ri i is equal to zero and is less than to the length of ri and take an, a random number let's say one okay and we have the system out here okay it gives to this for is that j equal to zero and j equal to uh, less than i the i is zero say no goes out to her and the i take plus plus i will be one and now take another take it another number let's say in here all right i the first one one and then let me re just remove them to be more clear for you okay take one and then give us back to take another number which is uh, two and here for the and is it four in here j is equal to zero and j less than i of course and it take it index zero this is the index zero of j it take one this one at index zero became here to them index zero of j like that okay and it goes to the if condition if i i at index one because i is at index one here equal to r i j at index zero if that equal to each other no and don't do that uh, don't do that and uh, goes out to her let me show you for the second third time so i it became two and the index will be here it is one now the j will be at index two here index one i mean here and it is says that one so here the if condition work now ri i is equal to ri j at index to if that equal to ri j at index one is that one yeah of course and now do this uh, ri i minus minus uh, sorry i just minus minus and break out the loop so it's break out and the i will be minus minus so do it is gonna do it again and take another random number mm, let's
that is just run hi hi array with duplicated seven seven zero nine six one we have seven and the here we have a random number which is zero just run me another seven six two four another it's eight six 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 we have eight one six five zero nine Okay, the number of seekers is duplicated here and just shows one of them. Let's do it another. Yeah. Okay, here's the idea. Thanks for watching.